Hi, I'm Emily. I'm the lead 3D artist here at CSM, and I'm going to show you how I created this cool character using fully parts from CSM Cube. So you can see I broke him up into body parts. These are all generated from uh, CSM Cube, and the same with the clothes and the accessories. And I'll show you how I put them all together. The first thing I did was generate a bunch of different images of uh, just a head by itself because I wanted to do a head first to get the best results and highest quality. Um, I ended up choosing this head, um, but I do test out multiple different ones um, just to see if some turn out better than what I expected. Here I'm just selecting the image that I want uh, to turn into 3D. Um, and then it gives me a quick preview mesh um, of what I selected. And so I'm going to retexture the head real quick um, just to get more defined uh, textures. As you can see, the original one is on the left and the right is the AI imaging. So I'm pretty much just painting on what I see on the right onto my mesh on the left. I did all the same with this body. I just want the body to get the highest quality and I'm going to retexture it in uh, CSM's retexturing tool to get more defined uh, textures. I then take all the parts into the and I don't show it, but I did the same thing for the feet as well. I took all the parts that I wanted and I imported it into Blender, and this is where I start working on the character. I tried with another head at first, didn't like it, so I continued with this head. Um, I just make the head proportionally correct, um, make it correct uh, angle and location on the body as if this was the original head on the body. I continue to kind of move around the head or the body to kind of make them more into each other to make it look way more natural. Um, and I'll do this with the feet and the hands that I'm wanting to replace as well. I'm just kind of messing around with the proportions and behind the ears to make it look a bit more realistic. Um, this is just a preference, it's not needed, but I do like having the little fold correctly in the back of the ear. Um, and I wanted his nose to be more defined, so I changed that as well.
the hands. I just imported them and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the head. I'm just going to position them correctly and kind of morph them onto the body as if they look like they're the natural hands it came with. This is just kind of like a trial and error and keep messing around with the sculpting tool to kind of push and pull until things fall into place. I do the same thing with the feet as well, exactly the same thing as I'm doing as the hands, just I replace the feet and mess around until they look natural. Once I have all the pieces correctly, I did take him into ZBrush just to remesh him. Of course, you can do this in Blender, but I just wanted a more uh, unified topology, um, better topology, especially around the face and the arms, um, because he's going to be rigged. If it's like a static mesh or something, you don't need to do this, but um, I just wanted better topology, especially for animation. With this new mesh, I imported him back into Blender, and then I baked the original texture onto this new mesh. And you can see it on the new UV maps, all the original textures are now on this mesh. With parts being smushed together, there's going to be seams in the textures, um, but this is a really easy fix. You just go in with the clone brush, or the blur brush and kind of smooth out the really harsh edges around uh, where the head, feet, or hands were merged together on the body. I had the original body done, the base body, I wanted to look for clothes. I didn't have anything crazy in mind, but I kind of wanted it to be more of like a medieval type of look. Um, so maybe like an assassin or something. Uh, so I ended up generating a bunch of different images of shirts, pants, shoes, uh, different accessories in that time era. I 
went ahead and took any of the images that I liked and turned them into 3D. I tested out a bunch because I didn't know which ones I would like better. Um, I didn't end up choosing this one, of course. I chose a different one and you'll see later on in this video. So I got pants that I liked and I wanted to fit it to his body. So I just scaled it, rotated it, and then used the sculpting tool to kind of move and push and pull and place it where I want it to be on his body. This is a very similar technique that I use to place the uh, hands and feet and head onto the body as well. Um, it's just kind of messing around until you think something looks good. I did this with all the other clothing he wears, like the shirt, undershirt, um, the belt, shoes, um, and things like that. The sword and the shield were generated the same way, um, and they didn't need much changing at all. You can see the finished outfit for him, um, and now all I have to do is go in and rig him. Now that he's rigged, I go in and make sure that all the clothing is attached to the armature and also there's no holes when I go and move the, like, the legs or something. There's not a hole in the uh, pants or something. I do the same with like the tops and everything like that too. Once I have all the animation and rigging done, I go in and edit edit the camera to make it look more action-packed um, and cool. The background is just the flat black background and the lights are just the area lights as well. Uh, nothing crazy, but it does the job. So that's how I used uh, CSM, all CSM parts to make this character. Um, thank you for watching and also you can go download this character as well. It's live on my Sketchfab. The uh, link is in the description under this video. Thank you so much for listening. Bye!